There comes a time in every NFL player's career where they start to get a little old and maybe their play starts to decline and then their team has to think is it worth it to keep this player? Well right now that's happening to Eli Manning. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Captain Cardiac and today we have a very interesting topic as we'll be discussing if the Giants should bench Eli Manning. Now almost all of you guys probably know that Eli Manning has been the Giants quarterback for over 10 years. He's won two Super Bowls with them and he's just done a ton for the organization. But it may be time for his playing days in the Big Apple to be over. So in this video we will be discussing many ways the Giants could bench or keep around Eli and then we'll be talking about how, what I think the Giants should do about Eli Manning. So let's just get started and obviously right off the bat what if they just bench okay who are they gonna bring in? I mean obviously I think the main candidate is Kyle Lalletta there's not a whole lot else I mean he's their backup I don't think, I mean, this late in the season, you'd be just willing to sign a free agent quarterback, throw him out there, because from all the controversy and from all you have to adjust from benching your quarterback and bringing in a new guy, you're not going to be willing to trade. And I mean, let's be honest, the Giants are going to draft a rookie in the draft. I mean, honestly. So I mean, the last thing you want, I feel like even if you're the Giants, is to bench Eli and have Kyle Lalletta come in and just play lights out and then you know maybe you have to stall your plans to draft a rookie so ultimately I don't see a reason to bench him I mean he's not been horrible he's not helped them win games he's been taking sacks he's doing all the bad things that a horrible quarterback should, is gonna do but he still makes throws I mean he has more touchdowns than interceptions. He consistently has 200 yard games. I mean, he's still playing at a starter caliber level. And I just feel like there's no reason to bench him during this year. I know this was a bit more hot over the trade deadline where you could trade for a quarterback. And why I, I knew the Giants wanted because like I said before, to have to bring this guy in, bench your longtime starter, it just adds a lot of extra controversy that you just don't need. So yeah, the Giants, they're going to ride with them for the remainder of this year. And what I think is going to happen is they're going to get a guy in the draft. I feel like number one right off the bat, Justin Herbert from Oregon. I mean, this is just a match made in heaven. They're poised to take him. They're going to have a low round pick while everyone else is taking defensive ends. The Giants are going to nab Justin Herbert. Daniel Jones out of Duke is another option here, but listen, another scenario, the least likely one is that the Giants are just going to be like, hey, Eli's our quarterback, we are going to ride with him, we have no intentions of training or swapping him for another guy, and that's just not going to happen, because while he's still playing at an okay level, he's certainly not helping them win games. And he does have a pretty solid offense featuring Saquon Barkley and Odell Beckham, who are definitely making his job a little easier. So really, I think it's not going to help him. He would decline fast. I mean, it's a matter of time if you keep him around before he gets injured. But that's just what happens when NFL players get old, unfortunately. So I think what you need to do is you need to draft a young quarterback and I think you could possibly, depending on how much you view this young quarterback, if you're ready to throw him out there and ready for him to be the starter day one, then you obviously don't need Eli Manning to back him up. While this could help him, Eli Manning, like I said earlier, he is a starting caliber quarterback and for other teams that maybe just need a bridge quarterback or a guy to you know teach a rookie a little bit they'd be more than willing to trade or pick up Eli but then obviously if you want to put you know let the rookie learn and see Eli play a little bit which I would because listen 
helping rookies sit. Even if it's just for two or three games, it will help them out. So that's what I think the Giants should do. Just sit the rookie. You need to keep Eli Manning for the rest of this year and the rest of next year. And then you can let whatever rookie you have take over. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what the Giants should do in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this is a bit of a shorter video, but if you like this video and like to see more videos just like this one, please comment down below. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye, guys.